everybody! Today I am super excited to be sharing with you this box of goodies from Sleek. So, now I do have two different coloured eyes because I've just been messing around with the Enchanted Forest palette and that's actually in the haul before this video so I'll link that video down below for you so you can check it out. I just wanted to try out some of the colours after I'd gone off camera and then I realised I wanted to show something else in the video and then, you know, and I just decided why not continue filming, particularly as I'm filming Sleek, at least you can see some products on my eyes. But I am actually going to do some lip swatches in this video and I was given an opportunity, I was contacted, to become part of the Sleek Beauty Blogger team. Now, originally they had thought I was international, but they still sent me the box anyway, so I'm not sure if this is going to be a one-off or whether they enjoy the video and if I do a blog post and stuff, whether they will be um, interested enough to continue with me being a beauty blogger, I'm not sure. I do think that companies should have beauty bloggers of all ages, sizes, skin colours, and um, yeah, it's a good representation because not just, you know, teenagers and women in their 20s wear makeup. <laughs> but they did send me this box box of products to review so I'm going to share that. Uh, there will be a little giveaway at the end because there's something in this box that I actually already have because I'd already purchased it myself so to please do keep tuned in till the end of the video but um, let me get on and show you what's in the box because I'm very excited um, to be contacted by Sleek so I do love the brand so when they contacted me I was like oh my goodness to me this is a major brand because they're huge and they're not just huge in the UK but they are quite international as well so very very excited. So this is the box full of goodies. I'm going to be brutally honest about everything because I think that's the best way to be and I will give you swatches. I'll also do lip swatches. I have three lip products in the box to show you. So first of all I'm going to show you some pencil products. I was sent three pencil products in this box. I have opened um, two of them and I've left this one sealed. Now the reason I've left this one sealed is because I already own this particular pencil um, and I'm actually, I was I'm not going to give this one away at present, I'm going to give that to a friend um, but I will show you it. So this is the Oh La La Liner. I believe they can be used on eyes and lips um, which is quite good because I've got a blue lipstick that I've recently shown from Colourpop and I love this colour. So that one is Blue Moon they're very, very creamy when they're applied. This is a beautiful sort of peacock teal blue colour, which is why I own this one, because you know I love that pop of colour and that really bright blue. I think that these apply beautifully and last really well. Um, if I put this on, I don't know if you'll see it. I've applied a little bit around the eye there. It's really lovely to have like a colour like this. So instead of adding like black around your eye, you can add that little pop of colour and it's not too bright so that you won't feel like too self-conscious. It's it's kind of that deeper sort of teal colour, so it's definitely very wearable. And like I said, these are amazing liners. I actually have quite a few of these already myself. So I was excited to see that, but they also sent me the black one. Now I don't own the black one because I love my Urban Decay black liners. I've got zero on perversion. So I've never actually got ahead and actually bought this one but I was excited to be sent it because I'd like to try it out and this one is called Noir. Oh that's amazing. There you go. Very very creamy, very intense, really really nice. You can't have too many black liners in my opinion and I'll probably pop that in my makeup bag that's in my handbag because that's really nice to have a black liner with you so you can kind of touch up and tidy up on the go. Really really lovely liner so love that one. They also sent me an eyebrow product and it's called the Eyebrow Stylist. Now they sent me this in medium, which I guess is a pretty safe bet when you send a box out to bloggers. Um, you know, it could be too dark, it could be too light, so just send medium. <laughs> I've not used this yet, so this is what it looks like. I love Sleek Packaging for a start. Sleek Packaging is just very classy, very stylish, very simple. You just can't go wrong with that simple black packaging. It's really nice. Now at one end you do have this sort of brow wand which you can use to groom the brows which is really great to have that on there but also to have a lid over it so that it just keeps it the packaging still nice and sleek for want of a better word but you haven't got to worry about which way you kind of plonk it into um, a container because it's protected on both ends. Hopefully you can see. 
which is quite interesting and the reason I like that actually is it's pretty genius because when you do your brows you're supposed to do small little strokes to kind of simulate hair on the brow and I think the shape and the size of this is perfect to enable you to do that so I'm going to swatch that for you sit there now this feels a little bit dry but it feels okay once you get it on like I said, you'll, you won't see it much because I've got a dark colour on here. But what I do feel with it is I feel like I have a lot of control. And because it's not too soft, so it's kind of just going, it's not going on too easy. What you want with a brow product is you do want it to be a little bit more waxy and stiff. So that when you are putting it on, it's like you're not going to make any big mistakes. You're just kind of having to work a little bit at actually applying which is perfect for me that's what I like in a brow product which is why I quite like pencils because as long as they're a sort of medium sort of pencil not too soft and not too firm you don't want anything that's going to drag on your skin too much but this is perfect it doesn't drag too much but it does drag a little bit so that you do have control and it's not just going to slip away across your face and you're not going to end up like with crazy looking brows so that's a very nice product as I said it's not a product I've tried before but I do like that very much and I do enjoy trying a new brow product so I'm excited to continue using it it does have the colour on the end and feed back to you at some point in the future it's quite a nice colour for me because I would wear light dark or medium brows because I've got coloured hair and it's not a natural colour I feel like I can kind of play around with colours on my brows so that one is interesting and I'm very excited to continue to try that I will try and wear it without something already on my brows the next thing is a palette this is an Eye Divine palette. This is quite an old one actually and it's one of their standard ones that's kind of a permanent palette. Sometimes they do limited edition palettes and they add new palettes quite often um, but this one is one of the permanent collection. The packaging on Sleek palettes is gorgeous. It's a nice size palette. It's not too huge. It's quite nice and slimline and it just is nice and simple black packaging. Just really looks classy. I absolutely love the packaging. On the back it does tell you which palette it is so it says Storm at the bottom. I put little stickers on the top of all mine so that when I flick through them I can like just see at the top corner which palette that is instead of having to lift them out. You get these little applicators or kind of the sponge tip applicators as you can see I have used this one. I'm not totally against these little things. They actually work really quite nicely with cream shadows so that's well worth keeping in mind. Don't automatically just throw them straight in the bin. I do find that high street palette wise this is the best quality um, one of these you will get because they do put these in as standard in most palettes and a lot of them are very cheap. They fall to pieces. They're not great quality. I do find that the sleek ones are a little bit of a better quality and they do have a bit more lastability about them. So yeah, if you do get a sleek palette, hang on to one of those just in case you want to use it in the future with cream shadows. Really gorgeous colours. I'm going to swatch that on the back of my hand and I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the swatches. I'm sorry they kind of got away with me at the end there. On the top level, you've got a lot of quite pale colours, some really nice quite highlight colours, a nice soft crease colour, um, but pretty sort of metallic on the top layer. The bottom layer does have some shine and shimmer about it as well. There's a lot of metallic in this palette, but you do have some really nice colours here and you do have an amazingly well pigmented black. The great thing about sleek eyeshadows, which is why I own so many of them, is that they are super pigmented. They're incredibly buttery. I have come across very few shades in sleek palettes that have been underwhelming and disappointing. You get the odd one, very rarely, that is very poor in pigment and is not great, but for the most part, sleek shadows are amazing. And that's why you will often see videos on my channel with the latest eyeshadow palettes. I do haul sleek. Um, and like I said, I've just hauled the sleek that I've got on my eyes today. But I get excited when new palettes come out because I do love the formulation of sleek shadows. This is almost kind of a very nice neutral palette. You do have some pretty basic sort of nice metallic pale shades on the top. You have a nice neutral sort of very pale crease colour that I'd say is more suited to pale girls like myself. And then you do have some really nice sort of more darker and dual tone colours at the bottom and what I love is it's got a black in here which is it's kind of a whole eye for me there's a colour in there and um, this colour is also very nice for me um, for my crease 
that's it swatched on its own very nice so in here there is a crease shade a highlight shade i'd use the black for eyeliner and then plenty of colors for sort of lid shades so this is what i would call a complete palette now they did used to feature black a lot in their palettes but a lot of people who kind of collect them because they've got so many palettes out or have had now a lot of people got a little bit upset kind of saying oh another black we don't need another black I've got already got like 15 of your palettes and I've got loads of blacks in them and I have noticed that recently they've stopped featuring that obligatory black which is quite nice and um, because I don't really need it but for traveling purposes sometimes it's quite nice to have that black shade in there just because you know you can smoke out looks with it but it's also just amazing for eyeliner and that's generally what I use black in these palettes for but the stone palette is very beautiful these retail for £7.99 and like I said, this is one of the standard ones. It's a very old one. They did used to have like a waffled texture on top of their shadows. I didn't like it. I didn't like the appearance of it. And for me, I just found that it kicked up dust. And um, because your brush was going into little grooves and little indentations in the shadow, I just found that it made more dust kind of kick up off it and you lost quite a bit of product. And now that they're flatter, they definitely are much more improved. It did send me two cheek products. And these are the new um, cream ones. These are cream to powder blushes. I think there's around six of these and I think they've all got floral themed names. So you've got Jabera, that's the packaging, and Carnation. So Carnation, I already own this one. So this one's mine and that one's still sealed in the box. Um, but Carnation is this really pretty pink. This is one that I just had to pick up when I kind of picked a few things up recently because I like their cream blushes. I've got a couple of cream blushes in the Blush by 3 palettes and they're really nice quality and again with Sleek and their blushes they're super pigmented. I've just swatched that and it's crazy pigmentation. It's really beautiful. These feel so creamy and blend beautifully and they do dry down quite quickly and as you can see, you can blend them away pretty nicely. So if you do go a bit heavy handed, you just rub at them and you can actually blend them down quite a lot. So that's what that one is like. It's a really beautiful, I would say sort of blue based, sort of pretty bright pink. Really beautiful, so I love that. The packaging kind of reminds me of NARS. I don't own any NARS, but it reminds me of that kind of packaging with that kind of flip top lid and that kind of rubberized texture. The only thing I would say is I prefer plastic for their packaging but that's just because they do get quite fingerprinty. I've not used this loads and it's already covered in a ton of fingerprints um, so <laughs> that's just something to bear in mind. And then the other colour is Jabera. They come with a little plastic seal on the top and that's what Jabera looks like. I don't know if it's coming up a bit orange on the viewfinder, but it is just a very nice coral shade. When you rub your finger on them, they're so creamy and kind of fluid under your finger. They feel really amazing. And that one is Jabera. I'll blend it a little bit. You do have a little bit of time to work with these as well. They don't dry too quickly, which is good because if you make a mistake, you want to be able to blend it before it goes into its powder state. But that's a really beautiful colour, really, really nice, strong coral sort of shade. The last three things are actually lipsticks. Now, their lipsticks are so mini, it's so cute. I really like these. So these are called True Colour Lipsticks. They sent me two sheens and a matte. And we will try some on. So we'll try a sheen one first. Now, this is a colour that I never normally would have touched. But lately, I've definitely got more into this colour. So this is one of the sheen lipsticks. This is number 798. It's called Succumb. It's a very nice shade actually. It's not a shade I, I would have like gone in the shop and gone, oh I really need to have that shade. But this is definitely a colour that I've got a little bit more into recently. And it is really pretty. What it reminds me of, because I was a bit worried it was going to be a little bit brown, is it's kind of a very sort of dirty coral colour, which I know sounds awful but it's not. It's kind of that rusty darker coral colour which is really nice. This is another quite nice autumn lipstick. It just reminds me of like fallen leaves and things like that, but it's a nice colour. And that's the swatch. And the packaging for them, it's really small. If I show a MAC lipstick next to that, 
you can kind of see there is quite a height difference. They are very nice and small and compact. Again, very simple packaging, very classy looking, and they do have a coloured sticker on the bottom, which is really useful when, you know, if you're in a handbag or in your makeup drawer and you're looking for what colour you want, it does have that on the bottom. So that's really quite nice. And it does say sleek on there. So love the packaging of these. Um, the next one I'm going to do is actually the matte shade that they sent me. Papaya Punch. This is number 782. And this is a super bright shade. It looks like a creamy sort of bright pinky coral, which is really nice. I really like that kind of shade. So I'm going to take this one off and get this one on. So that's that one. Love this colour. It's really, really pretty. It reminds me, I think it's Impassioned, or is it Costa Chic by MAC? But what I'll say about it is, there is a danger with matte lipsticks sometimes on the high street that they can be very dry and they do tug on the lips and it's quite uncomfortable. Now this does have a slightly drier texture than the other one and when you apply it you can feel that slight pull on your lips where it's kind of sticking to your lips a little bit more but it's not uncomfortable, it's not painful and it's, you know it's not too bad. I can feel that it's thicker in consistency than the Sheen lipstick and it actually feels like it'd be long lasting if that makes sense. It feels like it's gone on really nicely. It went on, I went across twice and the colour was really opaque. So the colour on this was very opaque, very impressive. I really like this colour. I think it's really, really pretty. It's a nice pop of colour and yeah, that's a really, really pretty shade. So that's that one. But it does feel very, very creamy and moisturising. So it doesn't feel dry at all. And that's really nice because, like I said, mattes can sometimes be quite dry and, and that's very off-putting. So the last one I'm going to share with you is another sheen. This is number 790 and it's called Cherry. This is a very, very me colour. I cannot wait to get this on. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I literally just touched that gently on my skin and look at that. That is so beautiful. Right, I need to get this onto my lips pronto. These Sheen lipsticks are so moisturising. You just touch your lips and they just glide straight across. They're so, I want to say slippy. They're kind of just very fluid on the lips. They feel beautiful and this was just so opaque on the first swipe. This colour is amazing. I love this colour. Oh my goodness, this colour is beautiful. It's got a real nice gloss about it. Like when you rub them together, you can feel how fluid and slippy it is on the lips. It's just really, really beautiful. It's a gorgeous colour. This is definitely a very <laughs> me colour. So that's it for everything that Sleek has sent me. They are actually on YouTube. They do have a YouTube presence. And they also have links on their YouTube to their other social medias. They have the standard Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, if you want to check out those, I will actually link their Facebook below and their Instagram. Their Instagram is great. I actually follow that. Um, so that's, you know, if you like sleek makeup, if you like makeup in general, and you love bright makeup and expressing yourself through makeup, then Sleek is a great brand for you. And it caters for every skin tone. They have a really comprehensive shade of foundations that suit even the darker skin tone to the lightest skin tone. As you would have seen in the recent haul that I did, I showed the cream to powder foundation. I got mine in linen and it is a super, super light shade. It is even lighter than I am and I am really pale. Um, I'm actually wearing it today under my eyes. It really brightens up the under eye area and I'll show that in an upcoming video. The great thing about the, their products is not only do they have amazing colors, but they also are amazingly pigmented. So you can look at a color sometimes in some makeup ranges and think wow what a beautiful colour and swatch it and be disappointed because it's just not as it appears in the pan. That rarely happens with Sleek. Sleek have amazing colour payoff and they never let me down. They blend beautifully, very buttery, very pigmented and I've always been very impressed particularly with the eyeshadows and with the blushes as well. So I think that if you haven't checked out this brand, it's definitely a brand that you should check out. It's very affordable. They do have their own website, which I will link below, but they also have presence, not just in Superdrug, where it just used to be exclusively, but they also now have a presence on Boots, which is great because I tend to go between the two. I find that Sleek isn't present in every Superdrug store and it's only present in one that's quite a distance from me. So my local store doesn't carry it. I do think that more Superdrug stores should carry Sleek because it is an amazing brand. It has a large variety of makeup on offer, which amazing shades and whatever you're looking for, you are certain to find it at the sleek counter. 
I want to say huge thanks um, to Sleek for sending me this makeup. I really do hope that I get the opportunity to continue being a Sleek beauty blogger because I'd be so chuffed to do that. Please give me thumbs up on this video, lots of them, and let's get Sleek realising how amazing my videos are and how much they need me to show their products and showcase them because I'm a huge fan and I'm always honest in my reviews. So, for the giveaway portion of this video, I'm actually going to be giving away this cream to powder blush incarnation. You have already seen the swatch for this. This is new and sealed. I'm giving this away. This is the one that they sent me to review, but I already own this product. Oh. This giveaway is open worldwide and I chuck some other little bits and pieces in there with that. So you have to, all you have to do is be a subscriber here and if you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, the links are down below in the information bar and they're also on the main page to my channel, up on the banner, there are links to those pages there. So please just give me a couple of thumbs up and likes and be entered in this giveaway. All you have to do is leave a comment below and all I want you to do is tell me if you could create a sleek palette what would you call it yeah so just leave that comment down below and i will pick a winner in around a fortnight's time and i hate those giveaways where people say oh just come back in two weeks and check and then you forget about it because you watch so many videos and then you don't go back and check and you can miss out on your prize so i'm actually just going to do a mini video and you can check out whether you've won or not and that way you know you're not having to think oh what about that giveaway because i have had giveaways where i've, an I've announced the winner and then i've emailed the winner and then they've not got back to me and then I've had to pick somebody else which is not ideal so I'll do a little mini video. So that's what's happening. This is for the Cream to Powder Carnation Cream Blush. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a colour that I think will suit anybody. So leave the comment below and yeah like me on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to me on here. So that's it. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe as always. I'm gonna love and leave you and see you very soon. I've been Spacey's number one girl. Have a great day wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Bye guys.